guys, good morning. We're gonna do a mail time video this morning. A couple of the things I already opened up because live plants, I didn't want them to be sitting in boxes and we didn't have a chance to film this video until now and it's been a few days since we got them. So anyway, I'll start with those things first. Um, these are berry plants from Bushel and Berry. So they sent over a sampling of some of their berries. This is a raspberry shortcake raspberry plant. And this one is a blackberry that's called Baby Cakes. They also sent over two different varieties of blueberries and another raspberry and another blackberry. So you might know them as Brazzleberry. I think they just recently changed their name this past year, but we've sold these down at our garden center for quite a number of years. And what I understand about them is they have uh, berry plants that are smaller. They stay smaller than like your standard size berry. So like instead of planting a blackberry and having to accommodate like this eight foot by eight foot <laughs> big shrub, this one stays like three to four feet tall and wide. So it makes them really all suitable for like container growing or small space growing, which I think is really awesome because um, it just allows the opportunity for more fruit, fruit and food production, even if you don't have an enormous amount of space. So let me show you where I already planted out the other four that they sent. So this blackberry and this is the raspberry and these are all out by my asparagus beds because they get quite a good amount of sun. Um, even in containers, they still like full, full sun, these type of berry plants. So you can see I didn't use super huge containers, but again, they stay a lot smaller, so they don't need an enormous amount of root space, which I think is great. And then let me show you the blueberries. Okay, so this blueberry is called pink icing, and it has huge blueberries on it, like big old blueberries. I need to pick them. They're starting to get over right here. Look at that. That's amazing coming off this tiny little shrub. This one is called Blueberry Glaze. This one actually stays really small, like two to three feet tall and wide. So I just used kind of a smallish to medium sized terracotta pot here. And these ones I keep in more shade because blueberries in our area don't like our full sun in the afternoon because it's just too scorching. We hardly ever have cloud cover and it's really tough on plants like these. So I keep them in a spot where they get a good amount of like midday sun, but then they're protected in that scorching afternoon, early evening sun. So they should do really well. I've had really great luck growing blueberries in containers in the past. So I'm excited to see what these do. So thanks Bushel and Berry for sending these over and let's see what we've got in the next box. Let's do this one, Burby's Best. Oh, this is part of my year of bloom. So I don't know if you guys remember, but in a mail time this spring, um, I got another box from Burby's Best and it was in this really pretty decorative pot and it had a calla lily like insert. So the insert was a plastic pot planted with calla lily bulbs that you just put down in the decorative pot. So there's this program where they send you like four different types of flowers throughout the year. So this is the next part of the series. So this is my new insert that I need to take my calla lily out and take this one and put it in there. And this is an oriental lily called Stargazer which these are gorgeous. I've grown these before. Oh, fun. Congrats on the news of your baby boy. We're excited to see your family grow. Thank you, Burby's Best. So sweet of you. So excited to see this lily grow. Okay, so this one I actually opened already too. This is from Judith Medina. Um, I actually opened it because I was trying to figure out where PR was. It's Puerto Rico. Um, so I was excited and I opened it up and it's the sweetest gift. So Judith made a burp uh, cloth and then a really sweet book on praying for your children, and then just a really um, sweet card and Puerto Rico postcard. So Judith, that was such a sweet, sweet gift. We'll definitely make use of it. Thank you so much. Dram. Oh, a box inside of a box. Oh, wow. Oh, these are so cool. Let me show you guys how these work. So this is called a brass quick change set or like a quick connect. So basically this goes in between the faucet and the hose, making it super easy to hook up different things really, really quickly. So let me get it attached. I love that. So it doesn't necessarily have to be at the, at the faucet part. You could have it at the end of a hose so that you can quickly connect um, like different hose attachments like sprinklers or water wands or whatever. So you can just like super quickly attach it without having to deal with the threads because sometimes it's hard to get them to thread really tightly. Um, and we actually just got a fertilizer injector system, which we will be doing a video about here really soon. Um, and so we were really hoping to get some of these quick connects because I want to have one at every single hose because the quick, the fertilizer injector system will have its own hose so that I can just quickly connect it 
to the water source and then I can move on to the next hose when I'm done. So anyway, thank you Dram so much for sending over a bunch of these things. So Aaron wants me to prove to you that this does not leak. So I'm gonna turn the hose on to show you. Actually, I just wanna make sure it's tight first. <laughs> Hold on, I didn't really tighten it really hard. Okay. Boom. Water's on, the hose end is over there. So the water's going through there, I can hear it, no leakage, proof. Oh, this is so nice. So both boxes were full of the quick connects. I'm gonna put these on every single hose bib, every single hose end, because this will make my life a lot easier. Thank you so much, Dram. All right, guys, two boxes left. Let's do this one. Trimaco, Trim, tri, Trimaco. Oh, sweet. A four by 15 drop cloth. You know, I actually remember this. We actually got an email from this company um, after they saw one of our videos where I was doing some painting and they were like, hey, if you ever need some drop cloths, let us know um, for painting projects or whatever. So they went ahead and sent out a box. A couple more things in it. This is a quick drop, professional grade folding drop cloth. Oh, this is cool. So this is actually like a more padded one. Looks like it folds out and it's a little bit more portable, easy to move around. Not as big. Oh my word. And then this is a heavy drop cloth. I don't know what it's made. It says it's more slip resistant than canvas. Anyway, thank you Trimaco, Trimaco for sending these over. Okay, so I saved this box for last because this is a box that came all the way from Australia up to us here in Eastern Oregon and it's full of fairy garden things. So I thought you guys would really like to see what is in here. Uh, the company is called Fairy Tale Gardens. This right here is called the Fairy House Property Deed. It certifies that the thatched cottage is owned by us. There's a little key. Oh my word, so there must be a thatched cottage in here. How sweet is that? Look at that, it's a little key. And it's all glittery, like everything's glittery. And little butterfly confettis. So this is the thatched cottage. Oh, that is super cute. So here's my little, my deed and my key for my thatched cottage. That is so sweet. I love little details like that. Oh, it looks like it goes. This is a little wishing well. Take the tag off so you can really see it. Look how cute, and it matches the house. I've never had a piece that looks quite like this one. The unicorn. Oh, how fun. Like this is like a real fairy land, fairy stuff. Little mushrooms, cute. Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. So there's a little fairy holding a dove. Sweet little bench. Picnic basket. That's cute. The little shovel's a leaf. Oh, look, little like, they look like elf shoes. Full of flowers, how cute. A sundial. And then a wheelbarrow, which the, that part's made out of a leaf, and a little bucket. How fun, that's like a complete set. I could create something really, really fun and really magical with these pieces. Thank you so much, Fairy Tale Gardens, for sending these over here all the way from Australia. So much fun. If you live in Australia or New Zealand, you should definitely go check them out. We'll leave the link to their website down below. In fact, we'll leave links for all of this stuff down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing, seeing some of the new things we got in, uh, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.